All right, so we wanted to come to you and show you how to do a software update on the HDHU 14 Plus Soundstream Reserve Radio. All right, so we've run into a slight issue that I found, and Soundstream being the awesome company they are, they very quickly took care of it. So let me tell you where we're at. So a little over a week ago, uh, on a weekend, we do an install. I get annoyed by the beep in the radio, so I turn the beep off on the radio. We mess with the radio, the radio's doing great. We turn the bike off. I come back to it in a little while and I turn the bike on and wow, I've got some, some hum or, it's just, it's very low, but if you turn the radio down, it's just annoying. And I'm trying to figure out where does this interference come from? Is it something in our install? Is it something in the radio? So I spent quite a bit of time trying to figure out what have I done, because the radio was fine. We set some settings, so which setting affected it? So cycled the key on and off, tried turning different things on and off. Eventually I turned the beep back on. Now turning the beep on didn't fix the problem, but hitting the button one time so that something did beep, all the noise went away. So I reached out to our rep at Soundstream, um, sent them a little video of what it was doing, and they were awesome. So I sent the video on Monday. Monday evening they have a firmware update. Said it's a clock, clock noise. It's not a major thing, but it was something that just enough to annoy me and, and probably several other people that have very bright tweeters and very high amplified systems. And the beep is just going to annoy you to death. So we didn't want to just tell you leave the beep on indefinitely. But the, the guys at Soundstream did an awesome job. So they released us a new update, but they also covered some other things. So uh, if you watch Carlos at NVS when he did his uh, video, he wanted a longer amp turn on delay. Uh, so this new update also is going, it's going to, fix the background hum when the beep is turned off. Uh, it's also going to adjust some levels in our audio so that it's not such a gap between FM and Bluetooth or USB. It also added a selectable in the settings menu you can turn on a 10 second amp turn on delay. So if you want your amp to come on right away and you don't have any popping or noise, leave that off. If for some reason you're running a DSP or multiple amps and the amps were booting up faster than the radio, you might have got a pop. If you see that, you just turn on the, the delay in the system settings and it's going to fix this issue for you. Uh, now I know in a couple weeks we have another software update coming out. It's going to cover a few other things. It's going to add things like amber lighting. Uh, we really wanted orange background lighting. They, they already added that. And a high pass filter so that if you're running stock speakers without an amp, you can turn on high pass and get a lot more volume out of it. But I wanted to show you how to do a software update. This can be something scary to some people. It's very, very easy. So all you're going to need is you're going to need a computer. It can be PC. It can be Apple. You just need access to the Internet. And you're going to go to MotorcycleAudio.com. So let me go there and show you. So we're going to go to MotorcycleAudio.com. When we get there, we're going to scroll down and we're going to find head units. Once you find head units, you're going to click on it. It's going to bring up the new HDHU 14 Plus. Scroll on down to the Support tab. Once you click Support, it's going to bring up two new documents. One says Update Instructions Read First. So let's go ahead and bring those up and we'll go over this and we'll read it and we'll talk about it. So first thing, we're going to need a USB flash drive. That flash drive needs to be 64 gigs or smaller. And we're going to need that so that when we do this, when we download our update file, we can put it on this flash drive. So download the firmware update. That's the first step. It's over 100 megabytes. It takes a little while to download depending on your internet speed. And once you do download it, it's going to be a zip file. So you're going to need a program like WinRAR. That's a free zip program. Our Apple programs had a zip program already built into them on our Apple computers. You can also use WinZip if you have that. So there's many options there, but you're going to unzip this folder. Uh, and then you're going to have to put it, and then you're going to transfer it over onto your USB drive. So after that, we're going to take our USB stick or flash drive, and we're going to put it in the USB on our motorcycle. We'll go over that here in a minute, but I just want to go over these instructions with you first. So after you've uh, put it in the motorcycle, you're going to go to your system settings. It looks like a gear on the home page. Once you get into system settings, you're going to scroll down. Uh, you're going to do the settings, then system settings, then you're going to scroll down to the About tab. Once you get to the About tab, it's going to bring up the current firmware, and there's a little tab at the bottom that says Update. So if you've got the files correctly on your flash drive, you're going to select the Update 
logo. If the update logo doesn't let you select it, the files are not on your flash drive or they're not on it correctly. So you're going to hit update. It's then going to ask you, are you sure you want to update? It's going to bring up another screen um, and you're going to say update again. So if you'll look at these instructions, it also shows you on here when you're done what firmware you should be at. That's MCUHDHU14 and then it's going to be January 26th of 2020. Now it's on here a little different. It says 220126. That's when they developed this firmware. Uh, then we're going to look at our SOC. It should also change to HDHU.14-220124-12 o'clock. So you'll know you're done when that is done. So uh, again, let's go over the improvements. Adds a 10 second amplifier turn on. It defaults the key beep off. You know, that thing is annoying. Uh, so it's just going to default it off. You'll have to turn it on if you want to hear it. Um, balances source levels on USB and Bluetooth. Increases overall level before clipping. So this was a clean radio. They made it even cleaner. So now it, it'll go even louder without clipping as well as reduces and intermittent data feedback. That's the noise I was talking about. Uh, sometimes when certain options were on or off, it was picking up a data feedback inside the radio. That's been corrected and been fixed. All right, so after you've read the firmware update instructions, just back up to the support tab again and you'll see you can download the file. So this file is over 100 megabytes and it has taken us, it takes me roughly a minute with our internet speed to download it, but we do have gig speed internet. So download that file. After you get it downloaded, you're gonna take your fresh flash drive. Now we wanna make sure it's name branded. You don't wanna use something you got sent in the mail with a catalog on it. Buy a SanDisk, a Sony, Philips, Santec. There's so many name brands. Just make sure it's a brand you've heard of before. 64 gigabytes or less. So start with a fresh drive and transfer that file over onto the drive. Now again, it is a zipped file. Uh, on our Apple computers, it just unzipped it and put it right where we needed it. On my PCs, I had to use WinRAR. It's a free download. You can Google it. Uh, download that, that software, load it on your computer, and that will unzip it and allow you to move it to your flash drive. Now, if you've already got WinZip or a program like that that came on your computer, it will automatically unzip it for you. Uh, but we do not want the zipped folder in your USB drive. It has to be what was inside of it, so it'll have to be unzipped. So transfer it over to your USB drive, and once you have it done, we can go to the bike and pick up there. All right, so we've got a bike here. Uh, I've already done several updates this week, making sure that everything about this works. Soundstream has been amazing. They've sent me updates, try this, try that, kept adding things, making it even better. Uh, so we're gonna turn on our bike, get our radio powered up, and this is the home screen. If you're not here, if you're on another source, just press this home icon. It's gonna bring this screen up. Press the settings gear, and it's gonna bring up a menu. We've got system settings, display settings, and so on. Select system settings. At the bottom, you're gonna see, and it says about. So select about. And now it's gonna show you your current firmware. Now this one's already updated, but I'm gonna go through the process because it will update again. So it shows you the current hardware that is on it the current MCU and SOC. And once you plug in your flash drive, I'm gonna go ahead and plug this drive in. When you do that, the update tab, if it sees the proper file, is going to display. So first it may tell you that it can't play the USB because it's looking for music. So let's get back there real quick. Settings, system, about. All right, now once you're here, your USB drives in, just press the update. It's going to come up, it says it's reading it, MCU 1.00.00 boot update. I'm going to hit update. And now we're going to wait for our radio to do the update. So like it says here, during the upgrade, do not turn off the bike and do not unplug the USB. The radio will restart on its own automatically when it's done. And you'll probably see that about 50% up this tab. That is normal for it to go halfway and then reboot. All right, so this process at this point has went pretty quick for us. I had one guy tell me it took him about five minutes to get his radio to finally boot back on from the update. So we're going through the process. All right, so it comes back on. It shows us our new firmware is being uploaded. And we've got a, another bar here that's going to continue that last 50% of that update.
Now, if you buy a Soundstream HDHU 14 Plus from Volunteer Audio, moving forward, today is January 31st when we're shooting this video. Uh, moving forward, we are doing this to every radio before it leaves us. So we're going to open it up, power it up, and update it. Um, there's been about 6,000 of these that are on the market that people already have in their box. And so this video is to help those people get it updated or some of the non-updated ones that are still floating around that are being sold. Uh, but everyone from January 31st forward, you won't have to do this update, but this is good to show you how to do future updates as we add more options and more features. All right, so it's finished its update, radio's rebooted, and I'll go through and I'll show you some of the options that we have. All right, once it does that, you're going to select your language and your location. Let's go ahead and turn it back down. You'll notice the beep is defaulted off, so there is no beep while you're pressing a button currently. Go to Home, go to Settings. I'm going to show you this new feature in System Settings. You're now going to have Amp Turn On Delay. So again, if you turn that on, it's going to add a 10 second delay to the amp turn on wire that turns on your amplifiers that you've added on. If you don't have amps added on, this is going to do nothing for you. But fixing the background noise, adding the amp turn on delay, the Soundstream guys have been awesome and they're going to continue to support you and support us uh, with these radios for years to come as we need software updates. All right, so I hope that you've got your radio updated, it's took care of any problems you've had and added some things that you didn't even know you needed. Uh, if this video has helped you, please like it, subscribe to our channel, you'll get more updates, more products will be offered for this, and as future updates come on, out, we'll do some videos and show you those too. So um, you can purchase this radio if you don't have one at volunteeraudio.com. Uh, you can also call us at one 30 audio Again, if you liked it, if it helped you, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Facebook, uh, tell your friends about the videos and about the radio. God bless. Have a good day.